Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to learn about the rules for setting variable names. So the first rule, right? The first rule is a variable name must start with the letter or the underscore character. So for example, you want to define the variable name as my name and that you mention the name as John, right? This is a valid name. Why? Because it starts with a letter, right? It starts with M. That means it's a valid variable name. Now, what about underscore? We can define the variable name starting with underscore. Okay, that means this is also fine. Here we have started with the letter, which is fine. Here we have started with the underscore character, which is again fine with defining the variable names in Python. Let's go ahead and look at the second rule. So what's the second rule? A variable name cannot start with a number. Okay. Let's say if you want to have a variable name, my name is equal to John, you decide to keep this, which is fine. However, if you put a number in front of the variable name, it will not work. It will give you an error. Even while executing the code, if you have, uh, if you have already mentioned this name and you do not get any errors in some of the editors, uh, some of the code editors does not give you any error uh, on such things but if you are using co vs code then it will surely give you an error and you will understand it right then and there itself however if you don't get it just remember this uh, rule that you cannot start the variable name with a number okay let's go ahead with the third rule so what is the third rule the third rule is a variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. That means the name has started with the alphabet over here between A to Z, which is fine. Um, and you can see all the characters in this uh, variable names are between A to Z, right? Which is fine. Again, if you want to have any variable name with a number in between, that is also fine. Zero, one, two, anything you mention over here in the variable name is also fine, okay? But you cannot have it in front of the name as we have seen over here. Uh, also, we can have underscore, right? So let's copy this and see if, if underscore is fine after the variable name. Yes, it is fine. And can we have it in between? Yes, that is also proper we can have it in front of the name which is also again proper but we cannot have any other characters apart from a to z zero to nine and underscore for example if you decide to have uh, your variable name as this with hyphen let's see if it'll work no it does not work because that's an illegal name right so let's see some more examples of illegal variable names. Uh, you cannot have hyphen. You cannot have something like this, right? And you cannot also have space in between the names. So these are the common mistakes that we do while uh, creating a variable name in Python. If you remember this, you will not get an error in your programming language. Now, uh, the last rule uh, of, you know, creating a variable name is very simple, but yet it's very important for you. A variable names are case sensitive. That means if you have a variable name age with all small letters, it's different than the uh, variable name that starts with a capital uh, letter, with, but, but the word is same, age still they both are different and similarly uh, the word age with all caps will be different than these two okay so here you can see that my name is equal to john then my name that start with uh, capital letter right is equal to john is different and then my name is equal to John is again different and my uh, all caps like my name 
uh, is equal to John is again different. Let's see this in action. Okay, let me clear out the terminal and let's see how it works. Let's say for the first one, which is all small letters, I'll keep the name as John. Then for the second one, I'll keep the name as Peter. Uh, my favorite Marvel character, Peter Ka Peter Parker. Then the third one uh, will keep as, uh, let's say, Larry. And for the last one, we'll keep it as Harry. Right? All of them are different. So thank you so much, guys. That's all for today's video. Subscribe my channel.